Hey, this is David the Shepherd School, and I've got a quick little video. I don't normally do wilderness survival videos because it's been a long time. I, I grew up on a state park, and there was a time when I was really big into uh, uh, wildland living and, and wild foods and land navigation and, and survivalism and, and that sort of stuff. But as I grew up and got fatter, I quit going out in the woods as much, and uh, so I kind of let that go. Well. I just got a promotion at work, and instead of, I used to be a specialist in one particular area of emergency management, now I'm more of an advisor, and so I've had to kind of to practice up some of my skills, my older skills, I'm doing a lot of um, uh, search and rescue wilderness stuff like that, and so I've been thinking about some of the old skills, and so I want to show you something neat. going to show you a way to start fire using steel wool and a battery or steel wool and a flashlight okay now um, if you go down to the Walmart or some other grocery type store look for steel wool you're probably going to get these um, scrubbers okay and this isn't isn't very good what you need is some paint and steel wool okay like this and like hardware stores for for paint removal and the more zeros the finer it is, and this was the finest they had at the store, and it works real good. And basically, all you're doing is having a little short circuit on your battery. Okay, if I use this stuff, it's not fine enough to ignite, and all it does is get hot. Okay, it drains your battery. But this is a, a used battery, it's not all that powerful. And I'll just take a little bit of this, and I'll just show you what it does, and then we'll light a fire in a second. But you just take it, so you do. Okay, now, you can do the same thing with a flashlight. I just took the end off the flashlight and I turned it on, okay? If uh, the little spring was in there, pushing it down and connecting the, uh, connecting it, it would uh, turn on, all right? And all I'm doing is you just stick this stuff in here, and if it and it short circuited out with the battery, see how it's how it's lighting up a little bit. Okay, a little bit of uh, dryer lint, some sort of tinder, some sort of fire starter. Break this up a little bit. Put them together. And there we go. I've got fire. See how simple that is? You know, if you carry a little surefire uh, mag light or a little surefire mag light, a little pin light. Um, Anything with a line volt battery, lantern battery, C battery, um, that's all you need. And if uh, this is all you've got, it's probably going to take something more powerful like a car battery. I've seen inmates do this when I worked at the prison using um, the wall socket and, uh, you know, two wires stuck in the, in the wall socket or a coat hanger or something. But I'll tell you what, I really don't recommend that because, you know, <laughs> it can be a shocking experience for you. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that little wilderness survival fire starting uh, technique, that tip. So, till next time, you can always catch online at www.tngun.com. Thanks.